When Mark goes in the living room, that's the signal to clear out the living room. Scatter! When I go in the living room, that's the signal for everybody to round up in the living room. That does feel kind of good, okay? They all come out like, mommy, mommy. <laughs> Okay guys, this was originally supposed to be one video and then I couldn't get it edited down into a good length or a length that I thought people would want to sit through. I just realized I can sleep with my eyes open. So I made it into a couple of different videos. At this point, it's just a couple. It might end up being a thruple. Also, I kept getting cut off by different things around my house, the lawnmower, my kids husband, all the things. So you know this is gonna be a quality video. So I had to film it in different sections. That's why the lighting and my outfits may change. That's me just bringing the highest quality videos there are out there. I just had to do what I could do. Do it when I could do it. Keep calm and carry on. So if you haven't already, you might wanna go back and watch my first Easter video or not. Just keep watching this one and be slightly confused the entire time. But I will try to kind of recap it real quick. Okay? Okay. Previously on Danielle Lost. Danielle does stuff. It's currently the day after Easter. Am I supposed to stay super uncomfortable with this outfit? Oh, like my backup makeup on? If I look weird, that's why. Not just because of my face. I also got a spray tan. My hands are a weird color. Ooh. I'm changing. Then never step out of your comfort zone. Spray tan hands. Sorry about that. Easter, yeah. what in the hell? If you're joining the channel. Hi, I'm Danielle and I'm a freaking weirdo. I call it resting bunny face. And you never know when they're gonna strike. Oh. Party planning committee. Make up the worst traditions ever. Easter reform. Cause I can't live like this anymore. How could this holiday go wrong? The only thing guaranteed on my Easter morning, a giant fight with my husband. Don't be stupid, Jason. Even don't. though you don't go any other Sunday, if you go to church on Easter, God might let you into heaven. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He totally won't. <laughs> Going to Target, big mistake. Huge. The store was packed. Guess who wasn't there? Any doubts? Your Easter eggs bringing all the kids to the yard. Mm. Sorry, sorry, that was dumb. Nailed it. End of flashback. Okay, guys. <clears throat> okay, so it's a different day. I don't know if you could tell, but I have few distractions in my house so i had to stop and it's a different day i tried to make myself look kind of similar to what i was looking like the other day but i do have sweatpants on now i need to put on a bra and um got my regular makeup out of the car <laughs> so i have my regular makeup on i have a ring light on i don't know why i didn't turn it on the other day probably should have i need all the help i can get i feel like my eyebrows look way better now that other eyebrow stuff just wasn't cutting it so where was i if i roll back the tape i think i was saying the store was packed right I think so so yeah the store was packed target guess who wasn't there any doubts Okay, well, I guess a couple of dads were there. I mean, not by themselves. Like, you know, the new dads with babies, toddlers, preschoolers. No dads with kids over five. The dads who haven't learned to say no to their wives yet. When their wives want to go shopping and want some help. Those dads. But definitely no dad just out at Target on a mission to make their family's Easter perfect. As a matter of fact, I don't think there was anybody there who wasn't either with a mom or who wasn't an actual mom. There were no single people, no teenagers, no couples, no grandmas, <laughs> or heaven forbid grandpas. Do grandpas even know what Target is? And you might be thinking, but wait, Danielle, how do you know that the people who were at Target without kids at Target didn't have kids at home? But guys, moms can tell who other moms are even if they don't have their kids with them. We're like Jeep people. We're in like this super secret club, so super secret, they don't even tell you there's a club and they don't tell you that you're in it. You just kind of automatically know. And do that little acknowledgement nod. Solidarity, you know? But anyway, back to Target. I left my house around four in the afternoon to go to Target and I got back to my house around 9.30. 9.30, five and a half hours. Five and a half hours. Target was the only place I went. Then I had to come home and unload all this stuff out of the car while my husband's inside watching TV. He's gonna be so mad that I said that. He never watches any of my videos though, so it's fine. He really does a lot of stuff, just not for holidays, okay? Then I had to come home and unload all this stuff out of the car. Yay. Everybody's favorite. And I couldn't even do the thing where like, you just grab all the bags and try to make one trip inside. No, 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 no. I had to sort through all the bags to make sure I just got only the stuff that was a last minute clothing stuff and not the stuff that was last minute Easter bunny stuff. Because heaven forbid I ruined the magic for everyone else, including 
including my husband. He thinks that all this Easter stuff just magically appears. And it does for him. Who's the magic? Me. I'm the magic. I don't want to be the magic. And the magic isn't just limited to the carefully placed and filled Easter baskets. It also includes all the Easter outfits, hung nicely or folded and set out the night before. So everybody knows exactly what to wear. I worked too hard for this to be ruined by somebody putting on the wrong thing. Am I right? I spent months looking for these outfits. Maybe the problem is me. No, that, that can't be possible. <laughs> I mean, Mark obviously doesn't think the Easter Bunny brought it all, but it's kind of like the laundry fairy. Have you heard of her? Mark just drops his laundry on the floor anywhere, usually right next to the hamper in our room. That last inch is just a little too far for him to reach. And in a few days, those clothes are magically picked up, sorted, washed, dried, folded, and placed neatly back in the proper drawers. Magic. It must be the laundry fairy. Who else? Spoiler alert, I'm the Easter Bunny and I'm the laundry fairy. Well, for this house, every mom is both the Easter Bunny and the laundry fairy, am I right? Huh. Thank heavens it's only for one house. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> okay guys, confession. Our laundry fairy is a little bit slow, so it might be more like a two week process as opposed to a few days. But still, the real kicker is that I'm the only one in the house that doesn't have a laundry fairy. It's not fair. I guess the laundry fairy isn't that fair -y. So back to the story. I had to sort through all the bags before I even got out of the car and make sure all the Easter stuff was staying in the car and all the clothes were going inside the house and sort each item into the appropriate bag. Then I had to go inside and try the last minute things on the kids just to make sure everything was gonna look good with their outfits. Luckily, they were still awake at 9.30. They were just all in their rooms because when Mark goes in the living room, that's the signal to clear out the living room. Scatter! When I go in the living room, that's the signal for everybody to round up in the living room. Somehow, they know I'm there. Anybody else? How did they know? Magic is real. So they're in their rooms playing nicely, but of course, when they hear me get home, <laughs> They immediately run to the door and swarm me. There hasn't been this much excitement at the lunch. Luckily, I left all the Easter Bunny stuff in the car because it would have been bad if I thought they were all asleep at 9.30. You know, because they're supposed to be asleep at 9.30. Their bedtime is 8 to 8.30. If I would have just assumed they were asleep, then came inside with all the bags, they wouldn't know who the Easter Bunny was because even though they never notice anything ever, like all their clothes and shoes on the floor, if I'm holding something, they will always notice it. Food, a treat for myself. They always want some. Anything that I'm holding, it's usually food. They will always notice and then they'll want that thing. They're definitely detectives when it comes to me. So they would have known about the Easter Bunny. The whole cover would have been blown. Ah, you mugs will never take me alive, see? And honestly, would I have been mad about that? Maybe not. So when I get home, they swarm me. And honestly, that does feel kind of good, okay? They all come out like, mommy, mommy. <laughs> but then I say, okay, we're gonna try on your clothes. <laughs> they all scatter. Run. Well played, universe. Well played. So of course they don't want to try on their new stuff. They came out of their rooms just to tell me about a bunch of Minecraft stuff that they built. I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> so yeah, they didn't want to try on their new outfits. So that whole thing was a wine fest. And like, not the good kind of wine fest. The W-H-I-N-E fest, not W-I-N-E fest. That would have been weird if it was W-I-N-E fest. Anyways, you get it. So that was super fun to do when I got home from Target after five and a half hours. Then, since they were still up, I had to wait until they went to bed and fell asleep. And then after that, I put out the stuff from the Easter Bunny, which honestly kind of burns my biscuits. I mean, the Easter Bunny gets all the credit for all the work I just did. Not cool, Easter Bunny. Not cool. In the meantime, while I was waiting for the kids to fall asleep, the deep sleep, because nobody wants a Cindy Lou Who moment. Why, Mama, why? Why are you filling the Easter baskets instead of the Easter Bunny? I'm not prepared for that. So in the meantime, while I'm waiting for the kids to fall asleep, I get to do one billion loads of laundry just to make sure we had all the articles of clothing that we needed for the next day. I don't want to forget anything. Like I've said, I've worked too hard for this to ruin it at the very end. Okay, so doing all that stuff, 
I ended up staying up till 3 a.m. And I woke up at 6 a.m. just so we had time to do the Easter baskets and get all the stuff that we needed to do done before church. We were still late. So guys, what I'm asking, begging, pleading, is can we just normalize not having Easter baskets on Sunday morning? That's all I'm asking. Literally any other time of the year would be fine. Any other time. Okay, that's not even the end of the story. There's more. But wait, there's more. I know, this is a long one. So we do the Easter baskets, the Easter morning, couldn't find Lily's hair bow. I'm pretty sure I put it in a super secret location so I would know where it was for Easter and then I forgot where I put it. That's part of why I ended up staying up till three, just searching for her bow that I special ordered, whatever. Never found it, still can't find it. We go to church and do all of that. I'm exhausted. I have super high heels on. Had three hours of sleep. And then after church, it's not over. There's an Easter egg hunt. No, please, no, 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 no! Also, just a side note, my kids forgot their baskets, except for Lily. She she brought her basket. So I had to run out to the car with my high heels on and get her basket. And as I was walking back into the church, our church, let's just say the parking lot is kind of, it's not this newest, okay? So I'm walking back into the church and I see my mom. So I start to like run over in my four inch heels. I forgot to buy shoes for myself. <laughs> so I had to wear the most uncomfortable shoes, but whatever. So I run over and I hit my heel either caught in a crack or like it wobbles on a crack. And all of a sudden I'm falling, falling, have an Easter basket in my hand. There's still candy in the Easter basket because Lily didn't empty her Easter basket from the morning. She just brought the full thing. So I am falling, trying to catch all the candy that's flown up into the air in the basket while wobbling on my heel. I know Lily's going to be super mad if I lose a bunch of her candy. The jelly beans aren't wrapped. So if they fall on the pavement, they're goners. So I'm wobbling, wobbling, think I'm going to catch myself. I didn't catch myself. Who do I think I am? There's no way I'm going to catch myself, okay? That did not happen. I'm delusional. I went down on the concrete <laughs> and I scraped my knee and my arm, see? And my hand. And my head, it all happened in slow motion. I went down. It was like an out-of-body experience. I could see myself. I did save most of the candy, though. Luckily, it was supposed to be a rainy day, so they did the Easter egg hunt inside the church, so mostly everybody was inside the church and didn't see me. But there was one guy outside of the church who did see me, so of course he comes over to help me up because I literally just sat there for a minute, like just gonna take a break, you know? So I sat there and he came over and helped me up and he was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. He was like, are you hurt? And I was like, no. And of course I feel like I have to be like, oh, I just got this little scratch on my hand or whatever. I have to prove that I'm not really that hurt. So I show him my hand and I have orange spray tan hands. Very embarrassing. I was trying to hide my spray tan hands, you know? No, I had to show them my spray tan. Yeah, I'm okay. I just got this little scratch. Spray tan hands. I couldn't have shown him my arm or my knee. No, had to be the hand. That's fine, whatever. I get up, I'm fine. I now have a funny story to tell everybody. <laughs> Yay. Anyway, my mom said it looked really cute, so. <laughs> Guess that was worth it. Lesson learned, don't run in heels across a bumpy parking lot, no matter how much you want to see your mom. So the point is, there was an Easter egg hunt after church. And I have to help my two-year-old do the Easter egg hunt because he has no idea what's going on. And so I'm also running around in my four-inch heels after I fell, trying to help a toddler run around and pick up eggs. So it's not even like I'm just walking. I have to bend down and pick up the eggs and help him. I gotta take my shoes off. So these shoes were a super smart idea. They just go right into the grass. So what can I say? I'm a genius. Bo, you want to get some eggs? Come here. Come on. Put them in there. No, no, no. Put it in. See? Collect the eggs and put them in. Okay. Bo. Get over here. Get in here. Okay, get an egg. Okay. Don't toss all the eggs. Get the eggs, ma'am. And him who doesn't want to pick up eggs. I gotta make myself cry in 10 years, okay? Oh, you got one, yet! Give it a cry. Oh. He has no idea what he's doing, 
But if everybody else has eggs at the end of this Easter egg hunt and he doesn't have eggs, it's going to be a problem. So after the Easter egg hunt, you're like, yay, we made it. We did it. We made it through Easter. No, no, you didn't make it through Easter yet. After the Easter egg hunt, you don't even have time to go home, change, relax. No, that's not happening. And Sunday is designated nap day. You get loads more candy in the Easter egg hunt that your kids definitely need. Just ask them. And they're excited about it. And so they immediately sit down on the church floor and start stuffing their faces. I don't blame them. I would do it too. This is not their fault. This is the party planning committee's fault. So you have to drag them out of church because they've already nestled into a cozy little spy. Oh. <laughs> to eat their candy and now you're yelling at everybody to get up stop eating your candy and get in the car because now we're on our way to easter dinner at grandma's house which is normally fun because who doesn't like to go to grandma's house but i stayed up till three and got up at six and it's been an event packed day already. I need a break. Where they'll get another Easter basket and even more candy. And on Sunday after church, usually it's like time to go home and take a nap. But not today. After you've stayed up until 3 a.m. And then gotten up at 6 and skipped breakfast except for eating like a few chocolates because you didn't have time to eat anything that would give you any lasting energy. And you're still in your church clothes, super uncomfortable. Because no cute outfit could ever be comfortable. But you had no time to change. You could have gotten an outfit if you were thinking ahead like that. But there's so much dumb stuff on your mind that you forgot all the important stuff. The comfortable outfit part. It's like way in the back, you know? It's me all the time. So now you're on the way to Easter dinner in a super uncomfortable outfit that you're going to proceed to make more uncomfortable by stuffing your face with a ton of Easter food. You know, because it wouldn't be polite not to. Thank you for watching that. So loud. Like, didn't I tell you there's no good time to do this? Mm -hmm. Told ya. I have got to find a quieter place to film. Thinking maybe my closet could work.